Hi, Brad from WordPress Sites. I just saw, thought I'd clear up an old post that I wrote about how to create anchor points. It's, uh, so some people seem to be a bit confused about it, but, it, but it's pretty basic. You can use a plugin to do this if you like, um, and you can also use a, a table of contents plugin, which will do this automatically for you. It'll base it on your on your uh, your heading tags, your H3 tags. But if you want to do this manually, you want to do it inline just for one particular post, uh, I'll show you how to do it. As an example, here's, uh, here's just a test post that I've done. Um, you've got two headings, Advertisement Management and Affiliate Plugin uh, Platform Plugin. Um, you've got a bit of text in between, um, and you've also got the, the H3 headings here. So what you want to do is, you want to link these to make them clickable, so when you click it, it goes down to each heading. So the way to add the anchor points is um, go into uh, HTML view, and you can see the two, the two points here, the two links that we want to link to those H3 headings. Now in Notepad, I'm just putting this down mm -hmm. as an example, uh, ahref and uh, you can see the code here. Now the first line of code here is the actual link at the top and then the second line here uh, goes in. You just paste this in just above the each heading. So we'll do the first one. We'll just copy this part here. We won't take the closing tag. So we'll just copy this and we put it in if you want to uh, if you want to link the number one we won't link that we'll just link the actual text advertisement management okay just put that back there now we'll call this anchor one you can call it whatever you like but it has to match the other the other line of code i, I just tend to normally i'll call them um, based on the uh, the, the title of the page. So if in this case, if it's anchor points, I'll just call them anchor one, anchor two, anchor three, and you can have your anchor 50 if you like. Um, <coughs> so we'll just put the uh, the closing tag here. Okay, now that's the first one. Now, the second one has to be anchor one as well. It has to match your, uh, your first anchor point. So we'll go down to the, we want to link it to the heading, and here's the heading here, you can see the H3 tags. So we'll just put it in just above there. Okay, so that's it there. We'll go back and do the second one, and we do the same. We call this one Anchor 2, and we'll just copy this, and we'll just paste this in the, into the second link. It always moves it over a space, I'm not sure why, um, but you can just put that back. And we put the closing tag in here, so this this will create the link. And we'll just we'll just save this before we finish it, and I'll show you exactly what it creates. We'll go in the preview, and we'll just have a look at this. Here's what it looks like here. We've completed the first one, advertisement management. We click on that, and that goes down. Um, to this first H3 heading, so now we want to make the second one, we haven't finished that, so that won't work. So we'll just finish off the second one, and here it is here, the A name, Anchor 2 we name that, because that has to match the second, the second link, which is called Anchor 2, so as long as these names in here match, uh, then it'll, it'll work. So we just put this in. We can actually put it. You can put it right next to the your, your H3 uh, subheading if you like, or right on top. It doesn't really matter. So we'll save that, <coughs> and that's all there is to it, basically. And you can put in as many as of these as you like. So if we check it out now, here we go. It works. So these all come down to. Uh, the uh, the different headings that you've uh, that you've anchored them to. So that's that's all there is in creating anchor points. It's very simple. I'll show you uh, the code that you need. Here it is here, and you can change this name in here as long as it matches this name in here. So that's all you have to do. Make sure they match. Cheers.